Before creating a plugin in Lua, let's recap how modules work and how to structure the files inside the plugin directory. So you have opt and start directory in your pack path. Inside each directory, you probably have many plugins. So here I have some dummy folders. Modules is our plugin name, for example, which you have Lua directory and this is where Lua looks for when you call the require function. We have a bunch of modules. Inside the modules folder we can have sub modules. Let's make sure we know how to write the modules so that later we can require it in our config file. There are a couple of ways to write the module and they're all the same and it's just a matter of taste. Basically, create a table and put some constants and functions to that table. Return it at the end of the file. The name of the table can be anything and it does not have to be capital M. For example, CMP names it CMP and follows this style of assigning the function. Module 3 does not create the table until at the very end, with the keys matching the name of the local function. Some people don't like the return statement at the end of the file. You can use package loaded with variable argument as the key and set it to the table. No return is required then.